live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering Red Hat Summit 2019. Brought to you by Red Hat. Well, good afternoon and welcome back as theCUBE continues our live coverage, exclusive coverage of Red Hat Summit. 2019 here in Boston, some 9,000 strong attendees here. Uh, the keynotes have been jam-packed. In fact, we just finished our afternoon session not too long ago. Again, very well attended, dynamic speakers. Stu Minimum, John Walls. We're joined now by Lee Day, who's the Vice President of Marketing and Communications at Red Hat. Lee, good to see you. Nice to see you. And Michael Bratch, who's a teacher of uh, English as a Second Language at Franklin Middle School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mr. B. Hey, hey. Good to see you, sir. And that's Happy what your, your students call you, Mr. B, is that right? They we, do. We saw that? Yep. We yep. might just follow through on that tradition right now if we okay, can. Okay, let's do it. All right, well, let's talk about why the two of you are here together. I, I know, uh, you know Michael's school has an interesting history that they've been kind of following somewhat independently, you know, in terms of open source and work. And then you found them through your marketing work, some really very interesting avenues that you have uh, on your platform. So tell me a little bit about how, how you got here and then we'll get into it after that. Okay, great. So Red Hat has a program called CoLab and this is our program where we go into schools and we teach kids how to code. So we do things like circuit boards and programming on Raspberry Pis. Um, kids have programmed Raspberry Pis into cameras to go around cities and take pictures, and we have had collabs in many cities, and uh, we hadn't hit the Midwest, and we chose Minneapolis, and we found, fortunately, Franklin Middle School and that great group of girls and two awesome teachers that are very inspirational. Uh, and so, it, the relationship didn't stop at that week of collab. We have stayed in touch, and here at the summit, we've showcased the, the work and the relationship that we have together. Yeah, and, and I know a lot of the focus of the program is toward uh, appealing to younger ladies, you know, young girls, trying to get them more involved in STEM education. We just had the two award winners for the Women in Open Source mm -hmm. with us just a few moments ago. So this is a, um, a company-wide, uh, I wouldn't say directive, initiative mm -hmm. that, that you said, okay, we, we have a responsibility and we think we have a role here to play. Absolutely, we, it's important to us to see the next generation of technologists and we feel like women, especially young women, sometimes feel like technology isn't accessible to them and they're not often in uh, technology programs in universities. So it's, it's our initiative to help young people feel comfortable and good about technology and that they can actually code and they can actually do things uh, that they, they didn't think were possible to them previously. Mm -hmm. All right, so Mr. B, help us understand how this fits in the curriculum and give us a little bit of the, the, the story of what, how it went down. <laughs> well, it's funny you ask that. I mean, this opportunity for us is a home run out the park because we're a STEAM school, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So today, not only did our students perform on the main stage a song that we were able to collaborate, write, and go through a whole production process with music, we were also able to, um, they're right now as we speak down, uh, running a booth, building circuits, presenting those circuits, presenting those circuit boards, and collaborating all together down there with um, attendees of this conference right now. So, yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're covering every one of those uh, STEAM components, basically, in, in one project, in one large-scale technology project. So this opportunity, home run out the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, lo love that, because that was the first thing I, I went to mind. I heard photography involved, you say STEAM, and so much, you know, we can't just have tech for tech's sake. Uh, you know, I, I worried. I studied engineering and like things like design and those kind of things right. weren't in the curriculum back. Right, you know, right, when, right. when I went to school, the, the creative so, side. And, you know, yeah, yeah. How, how important is that to, to kind of get, especially think young people, to get the enthusiasm going. That creative side would, you know, get them deeper into it. Well, you know, I always look at um, individual students. Everybody has their individual gifts and talents, and it's about, you know, finding those leadership skills within each one of those gifts. And so, within this, you're able to find someone that might be more creative in one area, maybe more technical and more you know, logic oriented in another area. So um, with that, you're able to just have more, a, a broader spectrum to be able to find uh, people's individual gifts and talents and, and for them to, in, in the collaboration, also contribute their gifts and talents in different avenues instead of it just being one lane, like just this part of technology or just this part of production or just this part of design. We're able to kind of integrate all of that into one thing and to take it one step further, after we did the, um, so CoLab came out with their mobile container out to US Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, Minnesota, 
and it was right downtown, right outside of where our, our football team players, brand new stadium. Um, Super Bowl was just there um, two years ago now. And um, so with our students being there, after we got done with that, that collab, when they were asking us you know, to take it a step further in the classroom, our students actually designed with our uh, Future Boys logo, Future Girls logo, mm -hmm. um, a card and then presented it to Red Hat and they ended up printing off the cards and they were able to use it to build the circuits. So we weren't just using the collab cards, but we also got to design our own too. So yeah, you said Future Boys. So that's, that's a, an organization, a club that you formed yep. at the school, Future Boys and Girls Club, yep. for the express purpose of what? Well, so we actually tie in all different uh, content areas into it. So obviously this is just the future girls that are here out here in Boston and did uh, the technology side with us and that participate in the collab because it's an initiative for girls in technology. But um, the future boys and girls, uh, the overall program, we encompass a lot of different content areas. We integrate performing arts with academics um, and all the components of a STEAM school um, into learning. And we do interest-based learning. We do project-based learning. And basically, you know, kids are learning a lot without realizing how much they're really learning, you know? And we make it fun and relevant, but we also teach the leadership skills and the hard work that goes in with it. And I mean, even just coming out here to Boston for this, uh, for this opportunity here in this summit, I mean, the amount of work that it took for the students to get here mm -hmm. and the process, the ups and downs, especially with middle school students, you know, the marathon, not a sprint mentality, you know, has been absolutely uh, amazing. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always say I haven't had a bad day yet, just an overstimulating one. <laughs> yeah. So, Lee, you know, we love having stories on the Cube, and especially tech for good is something that we always get a good dose here at, at Red Hat Summit. You know, what else can you share so, some of the open source stories uh, that are going on around the event? Oh, we're really thrilled today. We're launching our newest open source story, which is about agriculture. And you know, we, we choose topics with open source stories that are important to every, everyone. So medicine, um, helping to find cures for cancer mm. even, arts, mm. government, and uh, artificial intelligence. And today, it's about open hardware and open agriculture, and we're launching a new film this afternoon. I saw Future of Farming, yeah. right, right, and that, that's debuting today. Yes, and uh, we had someone showing their um, their farming computer on our stage and it's actually down on the summit show floor today. So you've got wow. the open studio, you mm -hmm. know, working and, and you have a number of projects. I assume this fell into one of those slots, right? Where you were using one of those platforms to feature great work. Future of farming is another example of this, but, but you have some, I think, pretty neat things that you've created, some slots that have given you a chance to promote open source in a very practical and very relatable way. Yes, exactly. So our, opens, our open studio is our internal creative community agency, but we do uh, get ideas from everyone around, you know, around the world. So we, we get ideas about open agriculture, AI, uh, what we can do with kids and, and programming with kids. And then we take those ideas into the open studio, and it is a meritocracy, so the best ideas win, mm -hmm. and that's what we choose to bring to life. And we have designers and writers and filmmakers and strategists and a whole group of people um, that make up the open studio in, inside at Red Hat. And you've done, and you featured Franklin and Middle School. Yes, so yeah, we, we worked together to create the container that Dr. B mentioned, and to create the, the container, and then we worked uh, together. Yeah, what do you have here? So you I have something. here, so one of the girls, um, Taylor actually taught me just now, I am not technical, I will just give that caveat, but they, um, they make, they made circuit boards, and they're making circuit boards here at Summit. Can I see it, and my, mine yeah. doesn't work, so don't try. Uh, so, that's okay. No, but I'll, I'll just. Uh, but basically, I'll we're. Just hold uh, it up you can see here we have different designs that, that our attendees can choose from, and then uh, we have electrical tape. That, copper tape. Or, yeah. Oh, sorry, copper tape. <laughs> I mean, I'm just. And an LED <laughs> light, and so yeah. the idea is to, to form a, a circuit and, and to have that LED light light mm -hmm. up the card. That's great. So one of the one of the girls actually. Um, taught me how to make it, but I think I didn't follow her instructions as well. So <laughs> need to go back to school. Wouldn't be the first time I, that I would have <laughs> fallen apart either on that. So where, Michael, where would you be now uh, without Red Hat? Or, or, you know, you were doing your own thing, right? Right, right. Independently, but now you've received some un unexpected support. <clears throat> uh, where would you be, you think, without that help, and, and how much of a difference have they made to you? Well, let me tell you, I mean, 
you know, when we look at it being an after school program, the amount of enrichment and opportunities that Red Hat has created for us has been honestly just unbelievable. It's been first class and we're, we're so appreciative. I mean, even, even in our meeting with the future girls last night, we just talked about gratitude and how grateful we are for it. Um, I mean, when you look at this circuit, this is an abbreviated version of what the students actually participate in. This is, a, you know, just a one, one, uh, one LED light and a small formation. Our mm -hmm. students were doing, I think there were seven or eight on ours. And uh, so the amount of learning and the amount of opportunity that this is presented to them, not only have they learned how to do the technical piece of it, they've learned how to present, they've learned how to speak and present, they've learned how to collab, collaborate, mm -hmm. right. work together on, on huge levels. And I mean, they learned what they can take on an airplane you know, right. coming out here. Um, so, I mean, the amount of things that, that, through the learning process of, like I call it a large scale uh, technology project that we've been participating in since October, since they brought the mobile lab out to Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. I call it a large scale tech, uh, you know, technology project. And going through that whole process um, has been huge. And let me tell you this, <clears throat> as a teacher, and those that are parents, you're competing with so much mm -hmm. in this day and age to keep kids' attention, right? I mean, everything is swipe the phone every which way and, and everything's so instant gratification. Mm -hmm. So for students to actually engage in this collab program, for it to be set up so well from Red Hat um, and to actually stick with it and stay engaged with it really speaks volumes to not only the program, but also, you know, um, our students staying engaged with it. But um, they've... They've stuck with it. They've been engaged, mm -hmm. and it's very interest-based, the project, um, seeing it through, but then also the renewed opportunities and, and, and being able to, one of the things on our rubric as a teacher is to expand and extend the learning. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be long-winded, but we want to you know, expand on the learning that's already taken place. And um, being out here, it's just, it's just a continuous continuation of the learning, mm -hmm. you know, not just one level, going to the next level, going to the next level, and next level. And that's, that honestly is where the real learning really takes place. Right. So, so, Michael, you know, from its very nature being an open source company, you know, Red Hat talks a lot about its ecosystem and community. Mm -hmm. um, if, I, if I read right in the notes there, you know, your students really getting the value and understanding of community. Is there something about they wrote a song to, to talk about <laughs> that? We become stronger. Yeah, that's the name of the song is We Become Stronger. And you know what? The idea was then we were looking at the, the PowerPoint for this summer and for this summit. And um, in that, there was, a, there was a phrase that said, ideas become stronger. Mm -hmm. And that's through the collaboration. And so we started tossing around ideas and things like that. And we're like, well, we like the idea of stronger. And then we're like, well, this is more of the collab experience, not just the ideas of the technical side. And then so we said, we become stronger. And yeah, we developed a song specifically for this summit. Um, I think it could go top 40, you know. Yeah, the uh, performance was amazing. Yeah, Definitely. I think it could no go question. number one, top 40, to be honest with you. But no, I mean, uh, you know, and that was another whole nother phase. You know, like I talk about the STEAM side of the school, um, uh, integrating the arts in, and the whole production side of that, you know, was a lot of work and another project, but it was another area of content that we were able to integrate into this project and, uh, and we were able to perform it on stage. So like I said, they literally just got off stage performing, we become stronger, singing the whole production of the song, a dance routine, choreography, and um, then went straight to the booth to now present circuits and teach right. attendees here at the summit how to build a circuit. I don't know how much better it can get than that. That is so cool, that's great. Now, th is this the song you that you recorded in the uh, same studio, Lenny Kravitz, Alanis Morissette, yes. all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, now yeah. tell me you didn't like that, huh? I mean, you know, it's, it's all right. <laughs> That's awesome. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> congratulations, really, on this collaboration. It, it's really, it is exciting to see it what is. you're doing to inspire young people. And Michael, I can tell you like your job, don't you? I love it. I yeah. love it. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Well, keep up the great work, and um, we appreciate the time here, and look forward to hearing that song. Maybe if it hits, uh, you know, the iStore, you know, Apple Store, maybe you know, maybe good things will happen, right? Hey, you know, you never know. You you know what, hey, she's vice president of marketing. We're going to figure this out. I'll check it out. <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> Go buy it on iTunes right now. We become stronger. Uh, thanks, Michael. We appreciate it, Lee. Thank you for being thanks here. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Uh, back with more here on the Cube. You're watching our coverage of Red Hat Summit 2019.